Sailor Moon is a Japanese manga and anime series originally created by Naoko Takuchi that follows the adventures of a young schoolgirl, Usagi, and her friends who transform into superheroes to fight evil. I got into Sailor Moon at a very dark time. I was in middle school, I was being horrendously bullied, and I stumbled upon Sailor Moon one afternoon and I was hooked. Sailor Moon was my own alter ego. So like when I was upset and insecure, I always felt like there was somebody out there who was super strong and capable. And I was like, you know what? I can be like that. Sailor Moon was the very first time I had ever seen gay or a lesbian couple on television. There are these characters who are um, queer, gay, and they're heroes. It's because of the positive uh, messages that it sense to both genders, and it also taught me quite a bit about love. <laughs> Nicholas, we need everyone. My name is Charlene Ingram. I'm the senior manager for animation marketing for Viz Media, and I'm also a really big Sailor Moon fan. Hi. Anime Expo is the biggest event that celebrates anime and anime fans. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I was a lot shyer when I was younger. And I feel like through Sailor Moon and discovering all of anime, I came out of my shell. So I owe a lot of who I am to anime and especially Sailor Moon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sailor Moon Day 2015 at Anime Expo. Over the past two years, we've dedicated a full day to the series because the fandom demands it. Some days for me, it still doesn't feel real working on it. Sailor Moon has a very pure message that's easy to understand on the surface, but when you dig deeper, there's lots and lots of layers. If you take it at its very basic form, you know, a team of girls defeating an enemy, it's very simple to understand. But as you learn the personalities of each of the characters and even the villains that they fight, it becomes very complex. In the 90s and you know the early 2000s, when Sailor Moon was dubbed, you know, here in North America originally, some of the relationships were changed. One that really comes to mind is Haruka and Michiru. There are different famous anime couples throughout the years, and Uranus and Neptune are one of them. In the English version, they made them cousins, but then in the Japanese classic, they're lovers. The scene that really stood out for me was when. Um, Uranus and Neptune are about ready to go into a big battle and Uranus talks about how she has blood on her hands and how can she fight and Neptune just takes her hands and says It was just a very like touching, subtle, knowing moment that love just kept growing. I've never seen anything like this and any type of media, not just you know animation or anime. That's art that needs to be encouraged. Like life is too short to not be who you really want to be. When Viz Media started re-releasing the series in 2014, we wanted to make sure to honor those characters' true genders and orientations with the new version. Those relationships were kept to the original Japanese. Super excited to be a part of this and finally give uh, Michiru and Haruko the treatment they deserve in this right? new dub. <laughs> I think it's great that Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune's relationship is finally being promoted from like co being cousins to being lovers because they always had that chemistry in like the original American release and it made no sense to people but now it makes sense and it's great for like the LGBT um, community. We hear stories all the time that when people discover Sailor Moon, they can discover it in many different parts of their life, in you know, many different life stages. Sailor Moon gave them courage to do something that they wouldn't otherwise do. Sailor Mercury was always my favorite. She was really smart and she was shy, and I was very smart, very shy. I dealt with homophobia at school and at home. My parents tried to beat the happiness out of me. Both they would call me horrible names associated with gay men. They would yell it at me, actually. I'd hear them arguing about it downstairs when I was in my room. When I was at school, other kids would like sing songs about killing me and like jump, jump around in circles around me. When I was 
living with my family where I had to try to pass it straight as much as I possibly could. The only thing I had that made me happy was watching Sailor Moon with my little sister. Sailor Moon, she has these choices and you get to watch her psychologically work through this and the experience of some very traumatic events. I have faith! Faith in what? Everlasting love? Indestructible friendships? <laughs> All of it! I believe in this world! And the guardians who fought for it! It's just through this lens of someone who's been through a lot of trauma. And as queer young adults, many of us have shared that trauma. I didn't have the experience of friends. But Sailor Moon would always talk about like you know, how great it is to have friends and how wonderful and like how good she was to them. I was always like, when I have friends, I'm gonna be that good to them too. Everyone is getting together tonight to do a little Mooney reunion and celebration of sort of like sending us off to New York for International Sailor Moon Day. This is the fortress where we are going to have our Senshi hoedown. Senshi means soldier or guardian. And for a lot of us, it's a huge privilege to have been one of the Senshi because that means that you belong to a group. Hey, oh my God, Laura, I miss your face. I felt like I got a lot of lessons of friendships from Sailor Moon. I had a party at my apartment. It was a 90s party. We were all together for the first time and my 90s playlist plays a song from Sailor Moon. And they're all like, oh my God, Sailor Moon, I love her. Oh my God. Senshi reunion. In this group, I was totally free to be myself. Oh my god! Oh. We're gonna establish the Moon Kingdom here. We're getting the Moonies together. If you ever meet people who are queer and ask them if they like Sailor Moon, it's almost always yes. <laughs> we just love her and all her like kick-ass friends. Yeah. They really do, like, you know, they have those traits that we share and they work through those struggles that we work through. Thanks to my, my Mooney crew, I can be all of the weird and wonderful person that I guess I am. National Sailor Moon Day in New York City. Being transgender and growing up and being raised as a girl, it was hard to find uh, characters that like reflected what society told me that I had to be. And Sailor Moon was girly, but she was a strong person and her friends were equally as strong. They got stuff done, they fought evil. And so that was just a really appealing thing to me. It's also one of the only shows that portrayed transgender characters, not because they were transgender. Um, it was just a facet of their personality. But one of the things that I really love about the Starlights and that really resonated with me is that regardless of whether the Starlights were in their male form or transformed into their female century forms, they were the exact same people, regardless of what their gender presentation was. And so, you know, that really helped me when I was kind of you know, going through the early transition process. Regardless of what my gender presentation is, I am the same person that I've always been. Uh, yes. What's changing is how society perceives who I am and what their expectations of me are. I didn't have stable friendships with people until like high school. Um, and a lot of those people were Sailor Moon fans. It took me like really like finding the Senshi to, to have a group of friends that I could count on, that I could trust, that I could feel safe with. This is our day to be free, to be all of ourselves. Unashamed and sort of without regret. With all those scars of the past that made us into the soldiers that we are today are just that. They can be in the past for a day. We can celebrate what makes us powerful. Cool. Hello, Brooklyn Moon Pride. Yeah! It is International Sailor Moon Day all around the world, seven continents, from Antarctica to New York. We are here to celebrate 
how fucking awesome Sailor Moon is. We will build a stronger world together because Sailor Moon brought us together. I believe that my experience ties into the experience of many young queer people. Many of us, you know, grow up in those environments that are toxic, um, where we aren't valued for who we are. And Sailor Moon provides fantastic heroes who look like us, who act like us, who share those identities with us. I think that's what brings us together. Yes! Yes!